Beginning July 16th, the bishops of the Anglican Communion will gather at the University of Kent in Canterbury, England for the once every decade meeting of the Lambeth Conference at the invitation of the Archbishop of Canterbury, Dr. Rowan Williams. Both Bishop Scandleberry and I will be attending this three-week conference together with our spouses Lisa and Marcia who will be part of the concurrent spouses conference. Unlike previous conferences, this 14th Lambeth Conference will not be primarily about adopting policies or positions on matters facing church and society, but instead it will focus on forging stronger ties between bishops and equipping them with the spiritual resources and broader perspective for becoming more effective leaders in God's mission. Prayer, Bible study, and worship will be the heart of the conference and the arena where this deeper knowledge and trust will be forged. Each day begins with the Eucharist, followed by Bible study, and then a plenary session for a presentation. Our first three days together will be in retreat in Canterbury Cathedral, and then the University, where we will tell our stories and listen to those of our brother and sister bishops as we explore the theme, God's mission, and the bishop's discipleship. As we unfold the I am sayings of Jesus in the Gospel of John in our Bible study groups, People throughout the Anglican Communion will be on the journey with us, studying the signs carried out by Jesus in the Gospel of John, using a special Lambeth study guide, Signs on the Way, which is available on our diocesan website and the official Lambeth website. What may prove to be the conference's most compelling witness takes place July 24th, when bishops and spouses spend the day in London. In the middle of a world center of government and commerce, this witness should be a powerful symbol of who we are as bishops and as a communion, and of the work we do as advocates for the poor and the marginalized. Episcopalians for Global Reconciliation and the Episcopal Public Policy Network have created a virtual march for the Mission Millennium Development Goals to coincide with the Lambeth Conference Walk. Instead of walking through the streets of London, we will send emails into congressional inboxes in Washington, D.C. on behalf of those who participate in the virtual walk, asking senators and representatives to support anti-poverty legislation. You can partic participate in the virtual walk by registering on the Episcopalians for Global Reconciliation website and receiving email suggestions on advocacy actions for the Millennium Development Goals. So as we prepare to embark on what we hope will prove to be a profound learning experience and a spiritual encounter with our communion partners, we ask your prayers and your continuing support for the church's witness to Christ and our work for justice, peace, and healing. Peace be with you in the name of the risen Christ.